to conclude this video kind of is this a good hold or sell honestly if you, unless you have like two unless you're i mean it really doesn't matter if you Hey man, say man, it's Herman Turo in the cut on the mic. As you can see, and today we're gonna be talking about the Paris Olympic, aka Wet Cement Fours, that just came out. Literally, I think the 27th they came out. Um, let me check on that real quick. Yeah, they literally came out the 27th, so just, so just three days ago. Like today's the 30th, literally like two days before August. Um, this pair, like, it's pretty nice. I'm gonna pop them on the screen. Y'all probably have already seen them, but I honestly did not. I'm gonna be explaining kind of in this video why I passed. And also, is this like a good hold or a good like to sell now? Right now, right now, currently, I'm gonna check market and see what market's at. Like, it was pretty um, it was pretty high prior to the release day. But let me check what's at currently. Okay, boom. I'm gonna pop up market on the screen. Honestly, these are doing better than the military blues when they came out, which are in the background. I don't know if y'all can see. So that, that speaks volume, but it honestly has a lot to do with, they only dropped 200,000 of these on the sneakers app and they sold out like in all big sizes. So it was a sellout of course, but let's say they dropped like, you know, double that, like 500 or 400,000. These would probably be sitting kind of like the military blues, but they only dropped 200,000. So I guess Nike kind of like saw what went on with the military blues and how hard, sorry for my cat's tails, like getting in the camera. Hold on a second. Y'all. Okay. Back in the video, like I was saying the uh, Nike probably saw what happened with the military blues, how they like way overly produced the military blues, which is, there's nothing wrong with that. You know, it gave everyone a shot to have this pair to like, they gave plenty of people, like plenty of pairs out there for people to wear, which is great for the consumers. You know what I'm saying? And, but like, and that's going to hurt Nike because overproducing something, it's going to be hard to sell all that product. So, you know what I'm saying? I, I guess they saw what happened with that. And then they really limited these Paris Olympics, which I kind of expected because this was like kind of like a collab, like um, Jordan 4, like retail was higher than normal retail. Like usually retail, like on the military blues, it was 215. This pair is 225. So it's kind of steep, the 225 price tag, which kind of surprised me how it sold out. So people are still paying up for Jordan 4s. It is a nice Jordan 4. Um, honestly, I passed. It is a nice one. But honestly, I'm just kind of watching my personals. Like, I'm not copping any pairs unless it's like a really heater heater. And honestly, there has not been many heater heaters this year. I think like, like the biggest heater that dropped this year was probably the Military Blues. But um, these aren't a bad, you know, th these are not a bad Jordan 4. Like they are a Jordan 4, they're pretty clean. I'm, I'll probably already pop them on the screen. They have like a cool darker on the, like the bottom, then the lighter, it's like kind of, then on the top it's kind of lighter. And the box is very unique too. The box is pretty cool, but again looking at prices right now i don't know if this is a good sell now or hold i see prices like they're probably dropping a little bit because like pairs are going to get in hand from sneakers and whenever pairs get in hand from sneakers like prices are definitely going to drop but like two days ago i looked at it and they're pretty high like 12 and a half was at like 300 almost like 290 but right now it's pretty much almost at like 300 12 and a half like my size is at 280 which is pretty crazy like i said wait doing way better than military blues whenever they came out the military blues are way nicer with the nike air on the back so it just really just shows you like stock numbers has all to do with that because the military blues sh like though they look like a 400 dollars shoe or like you know what i'm saying they look like a way nicer shoe they have the nike air on the back way nicer than these to be honest in my opinion and um these sold out though like i was saying but looking at market right now it's pretty low honestly like in most sizes it's probably it's like it's pretty close to 225 so if you're trying to like flip this pair there really wasn't too much profit to make unless you got like an 11 and a half like a, yeah like an 11 and a half and like up honestly but um like i see like a few small sizes like a three and a half like there's just like none of them so someone just has someone has the market really high like a 350 which is like no one's gonna pay that for a size three and a half men's like who wears a three and a half men's but um yeah you know anyways 11 and a half is going for about 250 right now last sale was 240 so honestly whoever sold down stock x they must have got that below or they took the l on this pair because like i mean after fees and stuff like seller fees you're you're, not, you're probably not even gonna get 225 back on a 240 sale so honestly unless you have like local clients honestly i'd probably sell a few pairs now but this it wouldn't hurt you you know to put a few pairs back like you know in the bigger sizes like 11 and a half and probably like 11 and a half through like really like a size 10 and a half through like 12 I'd say like it wouldn't hurt you, you know, to put, like hold a few pairs because they might go up near like Christmas. Like, you know, most shoes go up near Christmas. A lot of things go up near Christmas, but like, you know, in the shoe market, a lot of like nice shoes. This is a, this is a Jordan 4. So Jordan 4s do usually do good over time. Um, but yeah, this is a pretty nice pair. Like I already said, it, it, honestly, if I had a couple pairs, I, I passed completely. Like I could have honestly got these at a few foot lockers around me easily. Cause I have like a lot of points on like foot locker and stuff. And I could have like added a bunch of head starts and probably snagged the easy personal pair. Well, no 12 and a half is a hard size to come by. So honestly, the only way to get like a 12 and a half to me for me is like through sneakers because they never have them at foot lockers and stuff. 
but um uh yeah like looking at market right now nothing too crazy they're not flipping for too crazy but prior to release if you were able to get your hands on a pair for retail they were going for like 400 bucks so that would have been, that would have been a really solid flip but right now they're pretty much just going for like 20 bucks at like 30 bucks at most over retail so it's nothing too crazy not a crazy flip honestly i'm trying to hold my money for like better drops the their sbs are on the way i'm gonna pop them on the screen i know this video isn't about this but you know I'm just trying to put my money towards like better drops that's coming out the birdies or coming you know there's a few like cool i'm just like you know there's a few cool sbs coming out soon and also the alma manier threes and a few other things are coming out soon so alma manier fours those are really nice they have the nike air on the back so we're gonna have to see how those do in the market but again yeah it wouldn't hold you it wouldn't hurt to like hold a few pairs that are like bigger sizes because it is a jordan 4 like i said so this pair might do decent over time i wouldn't see i could definitely see this pair being at around 300 dollars um i don't know by christmas that'd be a stretch but you never know in like those bigger sizes because right now a 12 and a half is already almost at 300 and a size 12 is at like 250 so i mean you never know it could hit like 270 by christmas because you know once people really sell off a lot of pairs people wear pairs there wasn't that many there really wasn't that much stock but again there was a decent amount of pairs out there especially in stores so if you have like a store near you you could easily picked up this pair because like you know they have a lot of stock in stores and stuff so and like you know people um people like there's not many people probably in your local unless you live in like a big city like you know if you live in a big city then yeah a lot of people probably going for pairs in store but it's probably pretty easy you know to get it in store compared to like sneakers things usually like some things that sell on sneakers you could easily find in store sitting and i feel like this is that pair that will do that you know i feel like you can maybe find you know a few sizes still in store right now that might be sitting kind of like the military blues but like I said, they did sell out and there was way less stock than the military blue. So that's probably why, you know, a lot of pairs are selling out most places. I mean, I see everyone saying that this was a sellout. I didn't even get outside, like go to the malls or anything and see like how this shoe did, like see if there was like lines or anything. I heard there was lines and stuff for this pair, but not like the bread reimagines, you know, like the, like whenever the bread reimagines dropped, I remember like at my mall, like I remember I went to like DSG in the morning cause I had to like go to Miami um for got soul so i was driving to miami like you know it's like a four hour drive for me so i like was trying to go pick up my bread reimagine that i reserved like i reserved like a size 13 which is a pretty good size i really wear like a 12 and a half i remember i asked for a 12 and a half but nowhere gets 12 and a half so you literally the only way to get 12 and a half for me is like through sneakers like i already said but anyways to conclude this video kind of is this a good hold or sell honestly if you, unless you have like two unless you're i mean it really doesn't matter if you have like three if you have like three pairs and you don't really like how market's at right now if you're trying to get more for them honestly you could probably get a good local sale if you have a good local market you probably get a good local sale for like 260 which isn't bad profit you know you probably make like 30 bucks which is nothing crazy you know a little lunch money you could probably make on this pair but um i do see this probably being like a 300 dollars shoe in like bigger sizes like 10 and a half through like 12 maybe 12 and a half definitely 12 and a half is definitely gonna be doing good over time 13 probably gonna be doing pretty good but um hold on one second y'all okay but also to add on to that like honestly i would focus if you don't have like crazy capital unless you're just like you know rich uh, or if you just have like a good amount of money to play with you don't have to be rich but you know if you have like you know if you have a decent amount of, a decent amount of money to play with then yeah it makes sense for you maybe to hold a few pairs because you might make like you know an extra 40 bucks per pair you never know in the next like you know christmas is soon so like i said shoe market goes up and then also if you're like trying to long-term hold them i definitely see these being a decent long-term hold because in a year from now who's gonna have you know a lot of dead stock pairs of these probably not many people and people are still gonna be looking for a good jordan 4 but honestly someone like me uh for the personal pair i didn't pick these up i could have done a review easily on these but i just didn't really do them because i don't really need them honestly i just i'm trying to like watch my personals but i definitely could have done a, done a review Honestly, I'm not like the biggest fan of Jordan 4s without Nike Air on the back. Call me a hype beast. It's not even a hype beast thing because you see the military blues. They got the Nike Air on the back and they're doing bad. So I just like the Nike Air on the back. If it ain't got the Nike Air on the back, I honestly don't want it. But um, I, I'm not, the Jumpman's cool, but Nike Air is way better. But to conclude this video, pretty much if you don't have the capital, honestly, I'd put that capital towards other pairs because there's going to be way better drops on the way. Like I said, Alma Manier 4s, that's going to be a good drop to put some money towards. If you know, we just going to have to see with the sneaker market right now because you just never know. Plus, Alma Manier's are pretty hard to get your hands on because they only drop at Alma Manier retailers and then on their online website, which on their online website, it, you, you know, it's pretty, eh, you can, you can definitely pick a pair up if you're on the site, like right on the time they drop. I picked up a pair of five, uh, I think it was the black version. Um, I picked up like a really bad size, that was a size eight. 
and I just sold my pair for literally what I bought it for after taxes and stuff because like all my Meniers they go for way crazy money like because like they have um you know shipping and all that like it they're and plus the retail is really high on all my, all my Meniers usually so to end off this video is the wet cement fours a good hold uh yeah they can be but honestly if you don't have the capital to hold them just sell your pairs make like 20 bucks on them whatever you know market's not too crazy high on them um make like you know a little profit probably put that towards a better drop like i said their sbs are coming out soon i'm hyped for those uh, i already see skate shops posting them up i'm already entering raffles so yeah definitely stay tuned for the their sbs i'll probably definitely get a pair in hand hopefully hopefully but um yeah drop a like drop a sub hit the notification bell not miss no fire videos i got some fire on the way um, just had to do a little sit down video nothing too crazy a little chill video so drop a like drop a sub all that good stuff peace